Well, good Monday evening, everyone. Todd Warren here on Facebook Live tonight, as well as on the weather page of KTALnews.com with a live update on uh, the weather here in the Oracle Text course. It's been uh, very active to start the month of April and in the month of March. It looks like we're going to kind of quiet down uh, some here for the most part for most of the next couple of weeks. I'll show you the details on that, show you why it's possible our next chance of storm Saturday may actually not happen at least here i'll show you that and uh, give you the latest on how much rain we could see in the next 10 days and take you out longer range as far as those temperatures uh, with a grain of salt time tonight it really doesn't look like anything too unusual uh, as we're kind of uh, kind of settling in here uh, to more normal type weather here across the oracle tech something we really haven't been able to say much here recently. If you have a question or a comment, feel free to ask away. If you just want to say hi, that's fine too. If you're watching this uh, on uh, online, the comments are coming from my page, Todd Warren Weather. So if I don't answer or address your comment on the uh, Channel 6 or Fox 33 page, uh, that's the reason why. So it's tradition to begin the festivities with our hellos. So let's do just that. Bonnie, hello. Bonnie's first on board tonight. Brian, greetings. Michelle, good evening to you. And Betty, hello to you as well. You can see the pretty sunset that occurred this evening in uh, Texarkana as we did see the clouds decrease a bit, which often happens on days like today. A lot of the clouds driven by the heat of the afternoon and start to cool down. Those clouds do temporarily go away, but as we cool off too much, they reform, and that's probably what's going to happen here a little bit later on tonight. Sarah, hello, and Rusty, greetings to you as well. Uh, let me get to it here and show you what uh, is happening as we look at the overall pattern across the country right now. You can see uh, a disturbance which has produced some thunderstorms here across the uh, Midwest. Uh, this disturbance is eventually going to end up uh, down here along the Gulf Coast. We're also going to be watching this disturbance, which is going to move towards the east. That's going to kick this to the northeast. And eventually this is going to end up across the uh, upper Midwest and very well could bring us our next chance for some thunderstorms. And it looks like if it's going to happen, it's going to be Saturday. All right, so we'll kind of go into that as we go through uh, the outlook here in a second. Uh, Brent? Well, it's pretty nice uh, this evening uh, out there, Britt. That's uh, that's true. And a nice sunrise this morning uh, as well, as it was mostly clear over most of the area. So here's a look at the weather map. Let me clear off my uh, markings here and uh, switch over to the weather pattern across the country in terms of uh, the fronts and all that kind of good thing. For some reason, it doesn't want to load the graphic, but there it is. We finally got it up, and you can see the... Uh, Areas of high pressure, Sarah, you, it looks like you had a nice day today. It looks like that is going to continue moving forward as that high drifts a little bit towards, uh, kind of actually remains stationary. Uh, notice uh, that eventually uh, all the fronts stay toward north, but notice the increase in the rain along the Gulf Coast. That's associated with that upper level low, and it does look like we're going to see a low form at the surface here over the central Gulf of Mexico. You might think, oh no, Gulf disturbance, tropics. <laughs> the water is at its coldest. Well, it's starting to warm up. It's close to its coldest of the year. Uh, so uh, anything tropical in nature, in, in nature would be somewhat unusual. It is going to begin to move towards the north and uh, it's possible we, we may see some rain as far north as I-20 Wednesday. Uh, Sarah, looks like you're gonna stay nice and quiet in your neck of the woods. and. Uh, I echo Sarah's sentiments there. I hope everyone had a great Easter. Hello there, Drew. Uh, again, I hope you had a great Easter too. Uh, Eric says it's now 64 in his neck of the woods there in Colbert, Oklahoma, west of the Oracle Tech. So again, that takes us through Wednesday. You can see that low starting. This analysis here is, it looks like it's a bit off from this latest run of uh, Futurecast. So let me switch over to the longer range version here. And you can see that as we move forward, uh, we will see the slow slides way further to the north. And uh, notice that all, pretty much all of the rain stays to our south and east as that happens. Sarah, it looks like you're going to stay dry here as we head through Thursday. And then uh, that low begins to move away as we go into Thursday night and Friday. All right, there's Friday morning. And you can see the low does uh, kind of move off to the east of us. This is the front here 
that is going to give us that chance for the showers or thunderstorms Saturday. Unfortunately, Futurecast doesn't go out that far yet, but you can see it is going to produce some more snow across the northern sections of the uh, country. So that's what it looks like on national view. It does look like you have several days of nice weather there in uh, New York there, Sarah. All right, so let's uh, move on and uh, show you up close and personal here with Futurecast. And you can see that tonight, we likely will see those low clouds begin to redevelop late tonight as we cool back down into the lower 50s over most of the area. Kind of the in and out sunshine once again returning for tomorrow. Should be another pretty nice day. Maybe a degree or two warmer than what we had today. Going through uh, tomorrow night, we will see a partly cloudy sky. And then Wednesday, uh, we will see a, the possibility for that scattered shower best chances are going to be basically from center to Manny over towards Natchitoches 10% or less from I-20 and points north for Wednesday and that activity should uh, kind of wind down uh, Wednesday evening. Longer range version of Futurecast really doesn't have a whole lot for us. Just lots of clouds heading through the rest of thir Wednesday night into Thursday. Most all, pretty much all of the rain over towards Monroe. Uh, Thursday night we stay mostly cloudy and then Friday, we may begin with some clouds, but will likely end with some sunshine as that system begins to move away late in the day come Friday. So again, from now through at least Friday, relatively quiet, minus a little bit of a, a chance for some rain uh, as we look ahead to uh, the middle of the week. Uh, so that's good news, obviously. So let's uh, switch over. Don't see any other comments. Uh, so let me switch over to grain of salt time and we'll continue on and this is the uh, weather pattern again I began with a look at this here's that disturbance watch how it settles along the Gulf Coast you can see here by tomorrow afternoon it's over southwest Louisiana here comes the kicker it's going to kick that out and that's what's going to move into the Rockies and into the Midwest now notice where this model shows the thunderstorms developing just to the south and east of the article text and I did check uh, the European model, this is the GFS, the European model showing something very similar. So with the global models, there is some uh, agreement there. And when I show you the 10 day rainfall, if you watch the early newscast or maybe looked at the video that I posted in my weather article, that uh, the numbers from the blend of models 10 day outlook have gone down. So that the models are kind of coming together that this stuff may actually develop south of Shreveport and maybe even south of the Oracle Text. If there's going to be an area of concern, it's going to be down towards Natchitoches and that part of the Oracle Text. But you'll see that now the numbers there are just as low as they are pretty much area-wide. So you'll see those here in a second as I move forward. Uh, Sarah says it's 53 tonight in Brooklyn. So Sarah says it's 53. Let's uh, move this forward. You can see after that disturbance moves out, a couple days of nice weather. Another disturbance will give us another shot of rain sometime in the middle part of uh, next week. So Sarah says it's 53 in Brooklyn. Here in the Oracle Text right now, temperatures are in the 60s, 64 in Shreveport, 67 degrees is the current temperature in uh, Texture Canop. So that's what the pattern looks like in the longer range. Let's uh, talk temperatures and then I'll uh, switch over to the rainfall potential. And you can see that uh, nothing really too outlandish. I don't know if Chris is going to jump on. He was wondering whether Shreveport or Phoenix would uh, hit 90 first. We came close early last week. We hit 88 in Shreveport. I just checked the temperature in Phoenix. It's now 98 there. So it looks like the race is over. Phoenix wins. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> they uh, beat us to 90. But you can see the uh, temperatures. Nothing really too outlandish as we look at the GFS ensembles. Like you can see the trends. Uh, kind of warming up. Here comes the Saturday disturbance. We temporarily cool down. Then we warm up again. Again, late next week, another disturbance comes in. A little bit of a slight cool down. But keep in mind, normal's now 76, 77. Normal lows in the low to middle 50s. So really pretty close to normal, if not a little bit above normal, according to the GFS ensembles. European ensembles, again, they always run too cool during the day. and uh, But you can see the trends upwards until Saturday. We cool down and a little bit of a moderation back up. Not quite as warm, but probably we'll see 80s in, at times next week. Lows, according to the European ensembles, pretty much in the 50s. All right, so 
Again, moral of the story, longer range. This will take us, what's today, the 10th? This will take us to the 24th. All right, so it doesn't look like anything too outlandish for most of the rest of April. All right, as far as 10-day rain, uh, you can see that uh, the numbers have gone down a little bit from the run that I shared earlier. As it looks like area-wide, we could see about a quarter of an inch northern parts of the Oracle Text and a quarter to a half an inch over East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. So again, these numbers are well below normal for a 10 day period. Typically, we average in a 10 day period of time in April, one of our wettest months, anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches during a 10 day period in April. So we're gonna get, get about a third, if not less than that, of our normal rainfall uh, to uh, during the middle part of the month. So given how wet it's been, actually, it's actually good news. I think I ended up with eight inches uh, from last week since the beginning of the month um, in my Coco Ross rain gauge, which is pretty accurate, obviously. So uh, yeah, we could use a good couple of weeks of drier weather. It looks like it is going to, uh, weather's going to cooperate to give us a chance to uh, dry out. Uh, that's right, Bonnie. It looks uh, pretty promising that uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on Saturday. Again, we're going to be in the low 80s, as you'll see here in a second. Uh, well, right now, it looks like uh, any risk will be to the south and east of the Oracle Text. So again, if we're going to have anything, maybe Manny Natchitoches, but that's really, 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 really up in the air. All right, so that's what we're looking at as far as uh, the rainfall, the pattern for the next couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, other than that, it is looking uh, relatively quiet. Now, next week, We'll be in the 80s again. We'll have to watch that disturbance uh, midweek next week. It too, again, any disturbance in April is going to give us, you have to worry about the chance for strong storms. Although there's nothing, uh, it's it's a long way out. So obviously 10 days out, I'm not going to say we're going to get severe. Just something we'll, that is definitely on the table with it being so, so warm. Betty says still wet there. It's still wet everywhere, Betty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, we... Uh, don't have to worry about water for a while. I think we're we're good. And uh, the area lakes and rivers are starting to uh, fall for the most part. We're very fortunate with the Red River, uh, at least as far as the in our area, that all the rain fell on us and it's flowing out of the area. So uh, if this rain that we had to begin the month fell in southern Oklahoma, north central Texas, we would be looking at some issues along the Red River. Uh, it's always better for that rain to fall where it did heaviest over the southern half of the area as far as avoiding issues on the Red River. All right, so uh, still wet. Oh, Sarah, before I uh, get to our forecast, let me look at your numbers before I uh, let you go here. I do have that ready. All right, so rain for Sarah looks dry probably until the weekend, the end of the weekend Sunday, your next best chance of rain. And then you're quiet again until the end of the following week. So Looks relatively benign for Sarah there in Brooklyn. As far as your temperatures, Sarah, uh, you could hit 80 as soon as Thursday and Friday, and then you kind of fall back this weekend into the 70s. Several days of 60s, uh, most of next week, and then upper 60s, low 70s heading into the last half of the month. Lows of 50s and 60s will cool into the 40s and 50s uh, from about the 18th through the 26th, the second week of the two-week outlook for you. Sarah's was so looking like. Let's see if we got any other comments here. Let's see. You have a nice week too, Betty. Here's a look at your uh, forecast before I wrap things up tonight. And you can see that uh, we will see a partly to mostly cloudy sky. The clouds will increase a bit some uh, late tonight as temperatures uh, will dip into the lower 50s. 53 tonight in Shreveport, 52 in Mansfield, 51 degrees in Texarkana. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at a uh, the in and out sunshine, very similar to what we experienced today. Nothing really too bad on the wind, as we'll see highs close to normal. 76 is normal. We'll be at 76 in Natchitoches, 76 in Shreveport, 75 degrees for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. 10-day forecast shows that uh, temperatures will warm up, uh, low 80s for Friday. There's that chance for the thunderstorm Saturday. I do think that 50%, if the trend of the models continues, will go down. Uh, so uh, we'll see how Saturday turns out. Should be dry for Sunday with that north wind. Warm up next week with another shot for some thunderstorms sometime during the middle part of next week. So 
there you have it. That's uh, what we're looking at. It uh, looks like uh, we get a chance to uh, relax and not have to worry about the weather for a while, uh, even though we are going to be watching for the chance for some storms as we look ahead to Saturday. So that will do it for me tonight, folks. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Don't forget to tune in tonight at 9 on Fox 33 or at 10 on NBC6 for the latest news, weather, and sports. And, of course, I'll be back here tomorrow night with another live update, both on the website as well as here on Facebook Live. Until then, have a great night. Enjoy the nice weather again tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Good night.